Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today I am filming a video for a collab with a bunch of other awesome yarny channels. They'll all be linked below and go give them some love too. <laughs> um, some of their videos may not be out today, but uh, they will be out by the end of this week. So keep checking back if they're not up and check them out. But the collaboration today is on how to repurpose items for craft storage. Which is a really cool uh, collab, I think. And Terry started it over at the Yarn Joy podcast. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my craft room and talk over it. My air just kicked on. Let me turn it off. Okay, well here is my main craft area. It's a little sloppy right now, but I can't help it. <laughs> so some of my favorite containers to repurpose are boxes. Right here are some. These boxes down here or food storage boxes. They're actually ramen noodle boxes. <laughs> Jesse loves snacking on those. So um, I end up with a lot of those boxes. I have them throughout my house as different types of storage. But these particular ones, the one on the right is my cotton yarn and scrubby yarn. And the one on the left is my Christmas ornament yarn because I'll plan on working on that soon. And then up here, these are two diaper boxes. Can you tell right there? These I use to store my current project yarns or my really, you know, near future yarns in just so I can grab it easily without having to dig through my stash. And right here, this one I actually bridged between my two shelves and it created a little bit of more storage space on the top and also in the box, obviously. So that was neat that it just helped create a little bit more space, even though I do have that sloppy up yarn now. I also have one more box down here. And it's just an Amazon box that I have my rubber stamps in. <laughs> my, and one of my other favorite containers to use storage-wise is baskets. These are super cheap at like every thrift store. Usually just a couple bucks. This one, I'm not, I don't remember where I got this one at. But I keep my Etsy stuff in there. It's like my shipping labels and things like that. And then up here is another basket with all my whips in it. <laughs> it's overflowing, but you know, it works. And then I also have another basket all the way down here. Again, you can't really see it because I'm a sewing machine. But it has my rubber stamp ink pads in it. I have a few other um, storage containers scattered out through here. This actually got the hospital when I had Jesse. It's like a water bath thing. But I actually use it as a little garbage can. I, while I'm crafting, I could throw everything in there. And then when I'm done, I can take it to the actual garbage can and dump it out. These are boxes that I got at thrift store. This I use for my sewing stuff, my ribbons and things, and this has my threads and uh, extra needles and things like that in it. Right here is another thrift store find. As you can tell, I get a lot of it from thrift stores. <laughs> this is actually a jewelry box that I picked up for just a couple bucks, and I use it to store my stitch markers in. These are all the stitch markers that I actually use that people's either gifted to me or that I've made and want to keep. And it's neat because it's got all these little holes. I think there are four rings or earrings. <laughs> but it works great for stitch markers. And again, that was just a couple bucks at a local thrift store. This right here is another big storage thing that I found at a thrift store. And this I love. This was originally a makeup box, I'm pretty sure. I forget what they're called. Caboodles or something like that. But um, I use it to store lots of craft stuff in. Here it is in all of its glory. <laughs> it is just loaded with craft stuff. Um, I got all kinds of stitch marker supplies, pom-pom makers, my crochet hooks uh, down here are my safety eyes and stitch marker making stuff. These are also, these are Dollar Tree containers, this pink one and that clear one down there. I love them, you know, they're just a buck and you can use them to store any little bits and bobs in. Really handy to have stuff like that laying around. Pretty much all of these containers that I'm reusing were either given to me for free or that I got with free, you know, the purchase like a box or just really cheaply found at thrift stores or the Dollar Tree. Thrift stores and Dollar Tree is the best place to find stuff like that, I think, because it's always really cheap, easily under like $3 usually for most of it. Even that big basket up there was only a couple bucks. Um, and they, uh, there's all kinds of random things that, you know, you never know if you can find weird shaped things or things to just fit in spaces that you need. So, uh, I do recommend that if you're looking for, uh, storage ideas to check out your local Dollar Tree or store like that. I know there's some, like in Canada, called Dollarama and there's Dollar Spots and stuff. Or thrift stores. Because, you know, you never know what you might find. You could find something amazing while you're there. 
Um, a few other things that I use storage-wise, I'll show you real fast, is just totes, which I think everybody uses those, and there's another box. <laughs> and, um, I think that's about it, I think, yeah. I do have a few of those in the bedroom, those plastic three-drawer things I can get at Walmart with some more craft stuff in it, but it's not yarny stuff, it's, um, scrapbooking stuff. But yeah, other than that, I just like to use little containers and stuff. Here's a few more stuffed in here. I got these little containers at, um... Hobby Lobby, they were on clearance. It was a set of nine. They were like four bucks, I think, for nine of them. I do have a little basket down there. That was actually gifted to me for Christmas one year with, like, shampoos and stuff in it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything in my craft space right here that I'm using for storage. Well, there's also, I keep seeing other things. That thing, that's like a diaper wipe holder that we got at the baby shower for Jesse. And I use it just to store, like, my project bags and some random balls of yarn and things like that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to share with y'all. I hope some of this was useful to you and gave you guys some ideas. Um, have you used anything to repurpose in your craft room for storage? If you have, let me know below. Leave me a comment and tell me what it is or share me, share photos with me over on the Facebook group. Also, remember to check out all the links below for their uh, collab video. Some of them may not be out. I think I already said that. But just keep checking back. It'll be out by the end of the week for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. Share it if you think it would help someone else. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.